I'm currently in New York right now, right outside Central Park. There's lots of flashing lights. But you know what else is menacing? It's a Bayern Munich's attack in recent weeks. And you know what else has flashes of brilliance, flashes of intense speed, just as I'm seeing at Central Park tonight? It is Bayern Munich's attack right now. And Bayern Munich will be playing Bochum. Uh, in the in the Bundesliga, it's Bayern's third game of the season, and we have some updates. We have players injured. Musiala is out. He has a, a doctor injury, said by Nagelsmann, nothing serious, but he won't be playing against Bochum. Gnabry also has a wrist fracture, which bodes badly for his footballing career, but also for his chef career, given his classic wrist-inducing goal celebrations when scoring goals. Upamecano has a slight injury too. And the Ligt has a slight injury. But let's get into right into what I think the lineup will be with these injuries and with what Nagelsmann said in his press conference. So I think that um, that it'll be Neuer in goal as always. I think Davies is a sure bet uh, left back. I think the decision will be the centre backs. I could see any combination of the Ligt, Hernandez, and Upamecano play, but due to the injuries that the Ligt and Upamecano uh, seem to have it seems Hernandez so will be the starter and I guess it'll be a toss-up between the Ligt and Upamecano who's fit um, to play the game will primarily be the reason deciding but I think if they're both fit to the, uh, play the game I think it should be Upamecano and I think it will be Upamecano given how solid and matured he's been in recent weeks and Nagelsmann has spoken of that fact that if players are playing well they deserve to play more they deserve to continue their run in the team so I think in the end, Upamecano will edge out the Ligt here, but I think it could be the Ligt too. Now, in terms of the midfield, of course, it's going to be Joshua Kimmich and Marcel Sabitzer. Sabitzer in particular has been incredible um, at, at Bayern recently. He's been he's outshone Kimmich. I mean, Kimmich has not been great defensively as usual, but Sabitzer has been very good. Sabitzer should start. Sabitzer will start. The front four is where there will be more issues. Musiala has been Bayern's man of the match in the first three matches and now he's got it. It will bode badly for the team but it could give other players a chance uh, to start the matches now. And I think that Kingsley Coman will actually start in that left-sided attacking midfield position where Musiala usually lines up. I think Thomas Muller will still play on the right. Thomas Muller is assured to play. Uh, Gnabry had that wrist injury, as I was saying, and that could um, make him a wrist for being out of the game, if you will. And I think that he probably will be out of the game. I think that we'll see Mane start up front, and I think we'll see Sane partner, um, partner Sadio Mane. Because I think that it's time for Sane to get a start. Sane has been playing that striker position at times um, during when he's come on in his cameo performances, and he can also interchange with Muller, so I would like to see that dynamic, while also giving Gnabry a rest, but also he may not be fully fit, so it makes sense for Nagelsmann to do so, and I think Nagelsmann will do so. So, that's the front four, Coman, Muller, Sané, and Mane. And then, in terms of the subs, I expect to come on, I think Ryan Gravenberch will come on, as what usually happens, I think he'll be assured presence. I hope... He comes on for Joshua Kimmich because I've been saying this, but Marcel Sabitzer and Grafenberg have to play together. They're so press resistant. They'll be great together. I think Masrawi will play for Pavard. I'm not sure if I mentioned that actually, but I think Pavard will be the right back, of course. And that's also like the Upamecano situation. That's how it should be. He's been playing well. New signing shouldn't just come in because he's a new signing, because he's a 20 million player. No. He should come in on pedigree, and on pedigree, Pavard is better for the moment. He's played very well, he's been good attackingly, and I've been very pleased with Pavard, so I think Pavard will play. Now, how Bayern actually will play in this in this game. So, in the first few games of the season, we've seen this 4 triple 2 formation. And it really has been the 4 triple 2 The wingers have not gone out wide at all. In fact, Musiala has been really central. Muller sometimes has been going out wide, but oftentimes staying in the centre too. And I think that we'll see a diversion from this. I think we'll actually see back to the hallowed 4 2 3 one formation, which I so love, even though I have really enjoyed this um, this new look of Bayern by Nagelsmann with the 4 triple 2 I think the 4 2 3 one is so beautiful. And... Um, 
I think that it'll be more like that with Muller as an attacking midfield, Coman on the left, Sané on the right, and Mane up top. I think it'll look more like a 4-2-3-1. It could just be a straight 4-2-3-1, which is what I'm hoping. Because it'll also be interesting to see Nagelsmann experiment with different tactical setups. The 4 triple two works well now, but it may not work later on. It may not work against all teams, so we need to be tactically flexible. And I think this will be interesting. But as a result of a more 4-2-3-1 formation, or even if it is the 4 triple 2 it'll still be modified. I think that Kingsley Coman, as I've drawn, will be staying very out wide. He'll actually be providing lots of the width. And this is what we saw in the last game also, where... Um, where the left winger was providing more of the width, whether it be Musiala or Mane or Gnabry. And then Alfonso Davies was actually cutting inside, so he wasn't staying as wide, he was cutting inside into midfield, and that's why he was making those marauding runs through the midfield in that game. It was a tactical change, and I think we'll see more of this with Coman providing that width. While, because Coman's also more of a winger than Musiala, he's not that great in those half spaces. He's better running out space, having full space, and that's achieved when he stays far out on the wing. While in contrast, I think Muller will stay even further uh, towards the inside, towards the centre, as than he usually does, because it'll be like a role reversal. Instead of Musiala being staying really far to the centre and Muller providing some width, it'll be Coman providing some width. Muller staying really far into the centre, I believe. Which means that Pavard is going to have to go quite wide, wider than Davies, and he'll have to push up high on the pitch. That's how I think Nagelsmann will play. I think Sané uh, as a, will be as a striker, but we'll also see him shifting with Muller, but we'll, and we'll also see him occupy large amounts on the right wing. And that's also why I think Muller is going to be more in the centre, because Sané is really going to be on that right-hand side uh, quite a lot. And um, there's some sounds in the background, classic New York, but it's fine. Um, I think that Sané is really going to be providing a lot of that width. He'll often, in the offensive transitions, he'll often be on that right-hand side, I believe, with Mane being more... Not a focal point, still a poacher, but he'll be more confined in that centre role. It'll be more of a f classic 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, but I think it'll be really interesting to see. I'd love to see a 4-2-3-1. I'd like to see the experimentation. Uh, I'm really excited to see how Bayern will do without Jamal Musiala, given how Musiala has been our best player of the season, and arguably the best player of the world in the current football season. But... When all said that done, Bayern are playing Bochum, we still should get the win, regardless of what formation we play. Regardless of what players we even play, even our bench players, we should be arcing out a win versus Bochum, who could also be known as Bottle, and yes, they're bottle of the bottom of the league, likely. But um, I think this game will finish 4-0 to Bayern. I'm even going to go one step further. I'm going to predict the scores. I think that... Thomas Muller is going to score, Sadio Mane will score, and um, Sabitzer will score one, and one of those three will score uh, a brace. But that's my prediction. Those are my lineups. That's how I think Nagelsmann will tactate. Is that a verb? I've just made it one, at least. Um, that's how I think Byrne will do. Thank you very much. Check out the player ratings after the match. Should be around... Uploaded one hour after the match. Thank you and goodbye.